2008 we first built this greenhouse um, and so our first growing year was 2009 and uh, yeah it was a huge learning curve. Uh, the tomato crop usually stays in throughout the season. Um, that one we got about midway and most of our crop started to fail. Um, just various suppliers of you know this here nutrient will work this doesn't but the, the plants were just severely starved so we just found by tweaking the regime adding more soil quantity for them um, has been able to sustain them throughout the season. Uh, we're in the uh, our main greenhouse so it's our only real heated greenhouse here. Um, we bring the cucumbers in in February, tomatoes and peppers and they'll be in here till November except for the cukes we'll rotate the crop they only last for about four months but uh, everything else in here is uh, yeah, except for basil <laughs> basil's just until we get our new um, cucumbers in what else do you grow in here? What else do you grow in here? Uh, we've got a few different varieties of peppers. Uh, some hot peppers, some habanero peppers, some not quite as hot uh, Oro de Toros, and then the rest are the sweet bells. Uh, cucumbers, uh, two varieties in the cucumbers, uh, a mini cuke and our English long. And then over in the tomatoes we have about six different varieties of cherry tomatoes and two different varieties of the slicing tomatoes. Typically what happens on an organic farm is you rotate the crops and you keep a crop rotation. Uh, in this greenhouse here it's actually the soil rotation. So the crop will be, we'll have tomatoes in, peppers in, cucumbers in here next year. But we actually use the soil and it's packed with nutrient. We use it out in our fields where we have our field crop. And then we'll bring new soil into here. And then that's how we just keep, keep it going, keeping the nutrients going. In an organic greenhouse, of course, with pests, we control them with friendly bugs. Um, so predators of the bugs that are in here. So, for instance, we have um, tomatoes in that. One of their big ones is the white fly. And for that, we'll use Incarsia. And the Acarsia come in, they attack the white fly. And we always thought, we, it, from since we started, we started with a preventative program with it. And we thought, oh, we don't have white fly here on the property. But when, at the end of the season, when we composted our old tomatoes, we noticed out in the compost bin, we had thousands of white fly. So in the greenhouse, no problem with it. So the bugs are definitely doing their work. So um, maybe you can just talk a little bit about what it's like to, um uh, to work with Share Organics and, and sort of what advantage it gives you as uh, as a farmer, okay. uh, and then sort of in the long run. Um, working with Share has been a really good uh, benefit for us. Hopefully, it's been a benefit for Share as well. Um, Susan's been great right from the start. She was here pretty much. Um, came out, checked out the farm, see what we had, see what, saw how we were growing. Um, and uh, we started in with them right away and of course in the winter time um, she uses our sprouts and some of our salad greens in the box program and that really helps us because in the winter time the off season we still have a lot of costs cleaning out greenhouses getting set up without a whole lot of income coming in so having someone like Cher that will do pre-orders with us um, down the road really helps us sort of financially in that and just nice to know that we've got some where we can grow and sell the, the um, produce to. Break the chain.